she's on the line. She's going to talk to us a little bit about all those issues with the United States of America. And I'm going to start, Kinsey, by making the point that I made to Danielle. You know, we're not bothered in the United Kingdom about the domestic politics of the United States of America. Very few people in Britain know who the name of the governor of Alabama is. Don't test me on that one. Um, <laughs> actually, we're really concerned about having a quality leader of the free world and a quality election in for the presidency of the United States of America. And I think where we sit, that's really not happening. No, you're absolutely right. And uh, just to give you an idea of talking about Joe Biden and the idea that for years the media in the United States lied to us about his condition, how bad it truly was. I, I just want to give you another example. Today, I sit here before you and in, in my eyes, I just witnessed an assassination attempt. But CNN is calling this an incident, an incident with former President Donald Trump, which just, it fires me up beyond all comprehension. Because, Andre, I know that you know this, in the last few weeks, in the last few months, we've seen stars uh, from Orange is the New Black, like actress Leah Delaria, call on President Biden to assassinate Trump. She said, this is war. She said to Biden, you should use your presidential immunity to take out Trump. Mm. Back in 2018, we had Maxine Waters, a Democrat telling supporters harass Trump, harass his officials. So, so Democrats and and it does feel like people that lean to the left have encouraged this violent, nasty behavior. And why? Why? It's not acceptable, is it, Kinsey? It's not acceptable. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how it's wrapped up. It's not acceptable for people to behave in that way. It, it's it's almost irrelevant what your your personal views are. It's not a case of violence is it i mean it is right versus wrong uh, you know where is our moral compass as mm. a country where has it gone that we are still having to deal with things like this i mean do i you think you know, it's we... because of his condition do you think i i almost wonder if because Panic. yeah yeah i think it makes him vulnerable and i wonder if that is what makes other people kind of have to behave so if look if he was doing a grand job he wouldn't need to worry don't would he? They I wouldn't need to worry, would they? Actually, Kinsey, I, I'm going to slightly disagree with both of you. I, and my concern is that hatred has become cool. Now, now mm. listen, people think that I'm a very rude person on occasions, but I'm rude, because I, I'm, I'm <laughs> rude because I want to debate people. I don't personally dislike anybody. Hatred has become a part of politics. I think it's sickening. I, I mean, it's become a, a, all of a sudden we feel the courage to say things to people, uh, to their faces that we wouldn't have done 10 years ago because it's something we do every single day on social media, whether mm. we're leaving a sassy comment underneath the story I, we don't agree with. I Facebook, do agree with right? that, Kinsey. It's interesting. I'm, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up because the, the, it, it is an element of change as in the keyboard warriors. I, I've personally had it, and you know I'm a big girl. It's absolutely fine, but but it's not it's not okay to just attack. But you know, there's an, and it's not about silencing people. We should all have a voice. Very much that is what Talk TV is all about. That's what we stand for: is having a voice, having a good argument, and allowing difference of opinion. We it's as if we if we if the opinion differs to whatever is considered the norm or considered okay, then we have to shut them down in whatever way possible. Yeah, you know, I mean, and this is one of the major extremes that we're seeing right here. Somebody that is, like Andre said, full of hate. Um, and I do think it's a little bit of panicking over mm -hmm. the state of our uh, elections. Um, if Joe Biden was doing amazing, I don't think that there would be this air of yep. desperation and panic. And um, I mean, I'm absolutely horrified. I cannot believe that but today Kinsey, Kinsey, you and Kinsey, I are having this me, conversation. Kinsey, no, I know. Kinsey, allow me to work. Allow me to ask you what the line is. Now, before I ask you this question, I swear to you, I don't know where the line is. But I've always said that if you look at somebody like Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela used violence because there was no ability to get a vote to, to deal with democracy. If Nelson Mandela had wanted to run for office in 1978, he'd have been thrown in prison. And in fact, he was thrown in prison. So 
I would say that a freedom fighter is someone who has no access to democracy. Then you look at somebody like Gerry Adams um, or Martin McGuinness. Those are people who I would say are terrorists because they could mm. run for election but choose not to because yeah. they're not popular enough. But there is a bit in the middle. What Danielle said earlier, and, and I kind of railed against it a little bit, but I understand what she means. There would not be violence if people were not frustrated. Now, that's the bit in between. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where that line is, and I don't know what is... A, I, I know that Nelson Mandela, yes. I know Jerry Adams, no. I know uh, Robert Mugabe, no. But, uh, but I don't know where the line is in between. What can... So I guess the question is, what can we do as a society to ensure that people feel more engaged? I know that's a, a bit of a pathetic question, but you see where I'm going. No, I do. I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, I think one of the biggest issues we have today is that, like, there are 30-year-olds that still live with their mom and dad. Yes. Uh, we need... To, Absolutely. We, we need people to feel like they have a purpose and they need an outlet and where I'm, they can... Yeah. And a grown up. It's very, do you know what? It's very cruel and people don't realize. I mean, let me just, it's a tiny example, but it just kind of trying to make my point. Um, one of my kids was on a work experience week and I spoke to another mum and she said, Oh, I'm late every morning because I'm having to drop this kid off at his work experience. I said, Pardon? She said, Well, I'm having to drop him off at his work experience and then get to my work. I said, That's not work experience. Work no. experience is getting out your house and finding your way to work because that is what you will have to do. Yeah, but Daniel, but, yeah, but, but Daniel, what's going on where, no, where Dan, children but, are bubble wrapped? But, no, no, it's bubble not, wrapped. No, it's that's, ridiculous. that's nonsense. It's not bubble wrap. You have worked your entire life. Your husband doesn't even live with you because he's working that hard abroad. I mean, that can't be much fun. No, it's right? not. Right? The problem is. We are throwing children into the pit. We're not giving yeah. them an opportunity. We're not giving them an opportunity to make you a, have, a path for themselves. You, you have a skill, an, a, a, a television presenting skill. Your husband is a football manager. That's amazing. Kinsey Schofield, I met her. Trust me, she's hot in real life. I know I, she is. I had a crack in her. <laughs> uh, she said no. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, but, but the reality is we have these opportunities. What we're seeing is a society that crushes these people if you are... People will feel frustrated. They will resort to violence if they feel they Correct. are not being heard. Correct. Kinsey, that's and depressing. I, but, but, but how do we... But, but, I mean, get into government, intern. I mean, we've got to teach them how to make a way for themselves beyond burning down the local Verizon or T-Mobile yeah, store. Yeah, but Kinsey, with, with all something. due respect, Kinsey, we have just seen a government minister appointed who is without crest question the most crazed extremist that has ever been appointed in British government, Ed Miliband, who has now said that in addition to doubling the energy bill when he was a government minister, he now wants to double it again and he wants to spend five pence on income tax to build the infrastructure for his crazed green energy stuff. I will tell you a fact, and I'm a rich guy because of this job. I will tell you that if your mortgage is a thousand pounds a month, if your energy bill is a thousand pounds a month, if you if your if your grocery bill is five hundred pounds a month, you will never ever be rich. You cannot do anything to be rich. You will always be poor. No matter how much you earn, you'll always be screwed. That is that is deliberate. Our country has deliberately thrown these people in the pit, Kinsey. I don't. I mean, I feel like the, I don't. I, I that's a, a question that I probably am not an expert I've asked in. I've I, I love that. I'm, the, I love I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm under the impression that uh, you know. I'll be honest, I, Andre. My I I. I I created something out of nothing. I don't have a yeah. college or a high school education, and I've become a journalist. I've worked. Yeah, but, yeah, but Kinsey, biggest... Kinsey, I'm going to stop you, Kinsey. The reason I'm because and stop... that's why people like Trump so much. No, I'm going to stop because he's that's what he no, stands for, no, doesn't he? This that's is what the he difference. stands for. No, this is the, the issue with Kinsey. It's creating yeah. opportunities is, for Kinsey, yourself. Kinsey, yeah. this is the issue with you. You live in a country that is similar to Britain. You're basically British. 
but you live in a country that doesn't drag you down. You you have come to... I mean, I met Kinsey at Royal Ascot. We'd never met before. We'd worked together on this show. She's somebody who had an opportunity to be successful. If she had been British, what's the first thing that would have happened? They'd have asked her I for VAT. I would have VAT. married somebody that, that was going to give me a life of luxury. Yeah, well, I'd give you a life of luxury, Kinsey, trust me. <laughs> don't believe me, Kinsey, but don't no, worry. believe me. It's, it's just the teeth. I can just imagine it. Um, but <laughs> that was the worst, filthiest joke I've ever yes. made. But OK. But on a serious note, on a serious note, you know, an ordinary kid trying to do what you've done, you know, immediately it would be VAT on this, taxes on that, um, all sorts of bills and whatever. I, I think that we are stopping ordinary kids from being successful. And it's it's easy for me. I, do you know the reason why I keep saying that I'm rich and successful and powerful? The reason I keep saying that is because your children and my family are going to be fine because you're a TV presenter, I'm a TV presenter, your husband's a football manager, and my family have got a big trust fund. But what about the ordinary people who don't have that? It's garbage. Well, it might be garbage, but there are ways to deal with it. Ver that you, you can't take to the streets. You yeah. can't set things on fire. True. And Kinsey's right. You cannot have people in, with high-profile situations encouraging people True. to make bad of course, decisions. Of course. Exactly. I, what I think about that if we put some money into the schools? Never going to do that, are we? Can't be bothered doing that. I, that's a great. I, or and we need to change the way that education works. Pro, most likely for both of our countries, but certainly in the states. I mean, um, in the states, the the college system is wild. What they teach people, it's it's very left leaning. And then you have all of these uh, c colleges that. The, Are you in the college system for a long time, like in England? Is it uh, how old are you be before you're allowed to kind of finish your education in America? You you are you finish high school around eighteen and right. you're in college for around four years if you do a typical degree. Right. Um, but so you know, really, so people these... are in education usually till in their early twenties. No, I'm not being funny. Yes. Can I tell you this? Go on. A high school diploma in in America is not the standard of British A levels. Oh, is it not? So they have to do a further year at university. Oh, no. I'm not, but Kinsey, I love you to pieces, but it's fair to say that a high school diploma in America and A levels are not the same thing. So they do a That's... four year degree as a result. Right. And then, um, but you know, I, you're seeing the, the 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 kids at the elites here, and uh, all of them protesting Gaza, protesting. I mean. Tr totally just tearing up these beautiful universities uh, and you're... But, you're Kinsey, just... Kinsey, I'm going to stop you here. Um, I want everybody who's listening to this to turn on to our YouTube channel because we're just going to continually now rerun yeah, the video... Yeah, and it, it's very interesting to watch here. So, of but Donald basically Trump, watching... Sorry, of Donald Trump being, sh being shot at... I'm not allowed to say he's been shot. I have to say he's been shot at. Shots were fired at can the we, can Trump we, guys, rally. Guys, can but we Can we just down? see that what happens is, so there's, there are shots fired, at which point Trump grabs at his own ear um, and then voluntarily ducks down let's, behind let's just the do, do me a favour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask... Let's just keep let's just keep repeating it, because I want to watch so the people So you can see, him. look, the shots are fired. People can hear, look... You can see that people yeah. can hear something. And then if you watch, look, he grabs his ear and yeah. then he chooses to duck down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to say he wasn't shot. You can see that well, he, you can see that he's been injured. Well, we don't know. We I, don't I, I know. will say I will say when one thing. When he emerges, he does have blood I will, on his I will ear. I will say one thing, Kinsey. I'm somebody who owns air guns. Look, that was not a serious firearm. Uh, look. I, That's I, what I'm wondering. I'm could, gonna, it, could it be an air I'm going to get. I'm going to give you my opinion. Yeah. And it is my opinion. I think that that is either a, an air gun or 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 a blank. It's not a serious gun that's not hit thing. him. I think. I think he has been hit with a projectile. But but it's. I mean, Kinsey, you you presumably have seen people because you're a journalist in America who've been hit by. Uh, an AR-5 and all these AK-47s and whatever, you, that is not what that is.
Well, I mean, but at the same time, after covering the Alec Baldwin trial for all three days, I also had it hammered into me that you don't point any type of weapon at right. somebody's head yeah. or any at anybody. Yeah. And uh, uh, you just don't. That's what the rules are. Unless so, you're so looking to Kinsey, Kinsey, do me yeah. a favor. Tell me about the Alec Baldwin trial, because I'm confused by this. Alec Baldwin um, was given a firearm and told it was Probably safe, done. pulled, pulled, pulled the trigger. And the criminal prosecution is that even if he was told it was safe because he was handed a firearm in the United States of America, he should have checked it himself. That is the case, isn't it? Alec Baldwin was handed a prop gun on the set of Rust by his assistant director, David Halls, who uh, was prosecuted, took a plea deal and testified, was going to testify against Baldwin, testified against the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who technically probably should have handed him the gun, but there were weird COVID rules. Um, he, Alec Baldwin will tell you he did not pre press the um, the trigger that he just cl um, clicked the hammer of the gun and uh, he, he was rehearsing a scene with the cinematographer and the gun went off he shot the cinematographer and the director uh, the director lived the cinematographer passed away that day and he his defense was that um he is an actor and that he was just there to do a job so, so is, is 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 the state's case just so i understand this Nobody believes that Alec Baldwin was attempting to kill anybody. Nobody believes that Alec Baldwin loaded the gun. Nobody believes that Alec Baldwin even owned the gun. However, if you are given a gun in that state, in the United States of America, then before you pull the trigger, you are legally required to check whether it's dangerous. Is that, is that the case? Involuntary manslaughter. So it's if I yes. am on if I'm on the streets and I accidentally run over somebody with my car and they die. Involuntary manslaughter. So it's, it's acknowledged as an accident. Yeah, but, yeah. but but but, but, but uh, sorry, Kinsey, 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 Kinsey. I'm just trying to Kinsey. being a producer. Do you understand? No, they were no, I don't. Un get... No, I don't understand. Where, where is the liability here? Because I mean, but if he I... was, they were trying to get him on being a producer of the film ah. and an actor. Right, so they were okay. saying, as the producer of the film, you, you hired have these the person. responsibilities. Yeah. Yes, you hired oh, the person that was not qualified. Qualified. To be yeah. You you had a budget that was too small for everything you were doing. Okay. But at the okay. very beginning of the trial, the judge threw that out. So realistically, that's when the state lost their case. But why the state ultimately did lose their case and the uh, the option to to prosecute again is because they were accused and the judge found that they hid evidence from Alec Baldwin's defense team. So Alec Baldwin could not uh, protect. Alec Baldwin could not do the due diligence to defend himself, and so the judge threw out. The Case, I'll tell you one thing. Business. I'll tell you one thing. Where where anybody who goes to the United States of America has to be very careful. We have a monarchy in this country, uh, and so there's there's reasonable behaviour that's allowed. In America, if you lie to a public authority in a criminal case, you will be absolutely caned for it. So they never get you over. Did you pull the trigger? Well, it was lying about pulling the trigger. That's yeah. the issue, always. Kinsey, um, I want to just ask you this. Have you forgiven me for asking? I have, I have. Uh, I can't tell you how many comments underneath. I posted a diary video of you and I had asked it in our conversation afterwards and everyone thinks you have a crush on me. So no, I, I do, really I do, no, 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 I you literally. You are a very beautiful woman. No, I literally, I literally do. I literally do. This is a late she night show. Gorgeous. This is a late night show. And I will tell you the reason I left because I couldn't A, date or B, do anything more than a date so what i had to do was so so i got i, I was i, I was, was ghosted with, i was in with kinsey i'm thinking she's the hottest bird that's ever come with me to anything i'm thinking thank you i, I no, went no. with him a few days before but thank you very much no, she's a trout oh my god no no because she's like wow. the, she's like an american with wow. all the she's got she's got all the teeth and everything right and uh, got, i've got teeth yeah, but she's got she's got fake teeth, right? So, uh, so I was thinking, Kinsey, I've never seen anything fitter than this. She, by the way, to those people watching, she's hotter in real life. I know. Trust me, right? 
And then I thought, I can't, I, I'm so exhausted. I've done three days of this. So I did, what was it called? Like a German goodbye, what was it called? <laughs> it was a, well, it's a French exit. But it's all French French exit. There you so go. I, I so went, when I, you backdoor it, we call it backdooring it. Is that no, what you did? No, I didn't backdoor it. No, I didn't. No, I well, that's what we call it in Salford. If you disappear, you, you just disappear. Sorry, sorry. Because you've had enough. Backdoor it. That's didn't, what it's called I didn't in Salford. backdoor it. I wanted to backdoor no, it. No, that's what I'm saying. You're making it rude. I was too tired. We call it, it. We call it backdooring it. If you just no, disappear. No, I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, my word. That's